Hello folks, camera rolling. It is the 9th of May. I'm uh, just here and um, yeah, I'm, I'm making a batch of GP bowls and um, I thought what I'd do is um, I would demonstrate for you throwing uh, a GP bowl in sort of like seven steps. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw each step and then we're going to cut it off and put it uh, on the side there. Um, yeah. So let's do it. Let's do it indeed. A bit more light there, a bit more light there. You can't have too much light when you're filming. Surprising, you need more than you think. So, so these are a pound. You can make them, you can make them any weight really. So, let's just make sure that we're nicely in the picture. Um, maybe we should just bring it in a touch. Because I want you to see this. Something like that. This is just how I go about doing it. I'm not saying this is the only way of doing it. It's just the way I, it's the way I've sort of evolved in sort of teaching myself. So basically, that's my first move. Like that, just get a just cone it up, put him over there. Sometimes it helps, doesn't it, to see things kind of um, broken down a bit, in especially when you're learning, you know. you easy to get confused isn't it okay so there's number one now what I'm doing is I'm I'm centering the clay down kind of centering it down into itself like that okay see that little move I've done there with my thumb after I've I've centered it I put my thumb in at the base there and that centers it right down at the wheel head Quite a, a good idea, I think. Okay, cut him off. I'll put him there. Yeah. Nice weather today. Nice. Turning up. Step one. Centering down is step two. Now I'm breaking in, okay, and I'm using my index finger and my thumb kind of together like that. Okay, and I push down to the depth that I that I require. We'll we'll swing the camera across when these are done so you can see them. Okay, there it is. All right, that. Okay, now the next move. Now you could say, well, basically those moves that we've just done are pretty similar to if I was throwing a cylinder. And that's true, they are. But the next the next step is where it, it sort of it differs a little bit, you see. Okay, coning up, centering down. Breaking in. 
Okay. Now what I'm going to do is see if I can move my body around a bit here just so because what I want to do is I'm going to keep this hand here going down into the base there and I'm going to and I'm going to move that hand up like that against the side of pushing outwards but keeping this hand here and as I as I come up I will just bring this hand up with me okay so and bringing it up like that you see voila Yeah, I hope you, I hope you, you'll, you'll find this helpful, and you can go away and apply it. Okay. Cleaning up. Centering down. Breaking in. Opening out, sort of widening, opening out, pushing against my right hand and then just coming up with it like that, okay? Okay, that's where we're at now, isn't it? So then now the next move is I'm going to push in underneath like that and then begin to lift up the clay. Pulling it up like that, you see. How many lumps have I got? Okay. Yeah, I don't want to get too far ahead with each one. I want to sort of freeze it at that point. Okay, I'm going to put him there. We've got two more. So the next, now what I do with my, with my GP bowls, I roll the rims. Um, put a rolled rim on. Now you don't have to do that. It's just something I like doing because it sort of finishes off the pot. I don't recommend that you really, when you're learning how to throw a general purpose bowl, a GP bowl, that you necessarily do it, do it with a rolled rim. Because what you should do really is practice doing your rolled rims on a straight cylinder until you get the hang of them. Uh, if you haven't done rolled rims before, don't do a rolled rim on a GP bowl. Do it first on a cylinder. Otherwise, you'll come to grief. <laughs> but I'm going to do one on here anyway. Um, just you, you. If you're not proficient yet, then don't do it. Do it on a cylinder first, and then, and then. get that movement like that when you open out. This is a key movement on in, in, in a GP bowl anyway, is this going down to the bottom and then pushing out towards your hand with your and you see you going you sort of you sort of rotate your hand a bit like this you see and that naturally makes a curve doesn't it when you go like that. So because what you want to avoid is 
what you want to avoid is the you know making the 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 bowl with a kind of flat bottom and a kind of corner. You don't want any corner in it, do you? You want it. Okay, so now pushing in there. So you push in, you see, and then lift like that. So always remember with anything that you're making like to a gauge, like a GP bowl, like these are made to a gauge, always get your height before you get your width, okay? As I said in the last video, you can, if you go higher than, than the gauge, you can then come down, as you, as you widen the pot, it will naturally drop in height and it'll come down to the gauge. So we've got to we've got to do this rolled rim. So what I'm proposing to do is bring in the camera a little bit, and we're going to focus focus uh, right there, possible, and then I'll then I'll come out again. But I just want you to see the um, how we go about doing that. Come on, keep still. Sorry about that, my tripod's a bit wonky. All right, there it is. Okay. So, first of all, make sure you've got a bit of water here. Okay, now what you can do is just taper it slightly, okay, by squeezing by between your, your fingers here. That last bit, just thin it out, in other words, by doing that. Okay, now we're going to put our finger there, like that. Okay, this is the first move, the first part. Now we're going to take this finger, we're going to pull the clay over this finger, like this. You see? So you get it about to about halfway like that. Alright, and then what you're going to do is, I use my thumb on the top here, together with these fingers and I and I and I push it over you see like this and then I use my finger underneath like that just to just to tuck it in you see what I like what I look for let's just bring the camera down a sec it's like we've got jets there. Jets. Okay, let me just. So let me just bring this in here. So what I look for is that it it it, it, it looks round in form. Okay, and I like to see a defining line on the underside there where the rim uh, joins the wall of the pot. As it comes over it then joins the wall. I like to see uh, a line up underneath there you see. I hope I'm explaining that for you. All right so um, just bring that back a touch. All right, so that is the um, that is the there you go. There you have the rolling of the the rolling of the rim. Okay, let's. I'll just stick it for now. I don't usually stick it at this stage. I do that sort of at the end, but just to make it look a bit tidier. Cut through, okay, cut him off, put him there, and now we've got the last, the last one. So this one will be the final one. Okay, 
Okay, breaking in. Now we're going to go down here and trying to do that so you could see it a little bit. Pull the clay up. Just, just taper it a little bit. By tapering it, by thinning it a little bit, you see you, I mean, if you don't have to do that, but I like to do it because it, otherwise you end up with a bowl with a rather thick bulbous rolled rim, which I don't like. Okay, so now we're going to pull that over like that. With my thumb on the top, take it down, seal it by with my finger underneath like that to get that nice that nice joined line here underneath okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to widen it and pull it out like that So, since I did this video the last time, I've had several people writing to me and saying, but Simon, you told us how wide it was, but you didn't tell us how high it was. Well, the reason is, is because I never measure the height, I'll be honest with you, because I, I just eyeball it, because I know what the proportions are. So I never... Yes, but Simon, that doesn't help us. <laughs> You are right. So it's supposed to be six and a half, okay? Now that's exactly six and a half. Yeah, I can do these in my sleep pretty much. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you, try and show you anyway now, the the wet trimming and the use of the, the throwing stick in order to be able to finish these off because these are not, they're not trimmed at all. So we're going to bring the camera down here now. Sorry, so we've got a bit of jiggery pokery on uh, going on today, haven't we? As my dad would say, <laughs> jiggery pokery. Yeah. So what I want to do is get a sideways angle shot here. Um, let's just pull the camera in a touch as well. There's two aspects to doing this, and one is the stick on the outside, the other is the ha fingers on the on the inside. So, number one, you need a decent throwing stick. Now, most people's throwing sticks are not what I would describe as decent. I'm uh, always constantly having to wage war with people's throwing sticks. <laughs> Not wage war, but you know, they're usually too thick. You need one that is, is, is not thick. And you want one, one with like a 45, 45 degree angle on the end here, okay? So what we want to do, we want to put the throwing stick in underneath like that. But if I just push the throwing stick in underneath, what is going to happen? That is going to end up by throwing up a ridge on the inside, you see, and we don't want that because we, what we want is that nice, nice, that nice rounded form. Okay, so we're going to put our fingers right opposite where the stick, where, oops, right opposite where the stick is, you see, so that when I push the stick in and do the wet trimming, when I push it in, it's pushing against something because my fingers are there giving resistance 
and that's the resistance there is going to cause the clay to come off. Okay, so pushing in there now, reducing the width of the base, fingers on the inside, and there's the clay. You see? It's a little bit of a, a trick that you can, but you can learn it. It's not that difficult actually. Pull back the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, let's just show you the inside of the form here. Okay, I want you to take note of the fact that it's cleaned all the way down to the wheel head. Okay, there's no spur on the bottom or burr or whatever you want to call it. You see, it, it, so that's going to be very nicely uh, thumbed off. Inside of the bowl, a nice, a nice continuous curve. It might have a few little ridges in it, don't worry about that. What we're looking for is the general the general shape. Okay, Okay. Well, so what we've not got to do now is leather that and cut him off and that's the last. Let's just get this back up again. So there, there, there are pieces there, I'll, I'll show you those in a second. Come on, man. This is like the cheapest, nastiest tripod, but I um, I treat my tripods as you can imagine. They're covered in clay. All right, so the leather, the leathering. So lay the leather over. Use the thumb like that just to. Okay, that's it. Now we cut them off. Clean the cut off wire. Thumbs, slow the wheel down and pull through. Put him back. Okay. Okie dokie. Right, so to, in order to get these off the wheel head, okay, you're not, you, you're not gonna really do it like this. You're gonna use your two fingers of each hand like that to form underneath a support. You see? Like that. And you can get him off easy then. I'll put him there. Let's just get this board and we'll and I'll put him there like that. Uh, we'll get the camera off the tripod and so these are the the different stages oh I've just got to remember to get that height haven't I on the So let's just, for those people who wanted to know, let's have a look, what is that saying? Kind of light is around the other way, I should have the camera. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Well, that is reading, uh, yeah, it's reading three, Three and a three and one eighth. Okay, three and one eighth. Three and one eighth is your height, and your your width should be six and a half. Six and a half here. Yeah. Okay, and there it is. That is seven. I've made it seven, you could make it eight maybe, but no, seven is good. Seven stages to how to arrive at throwing a GP bowl. One last thing we'll do on this GP bowl, and that is we will wet our index finger. We're going to 
make a pouring lip. So we're just going to hold those fingers like that, put this finger in between those, and just So if you've got some couple of fried egg, eggs to not fry, <laughs> you wouldn't be doing that for frying, would you? Uh, making an omelet, say. So we just stretched out the clay between there and there, between those points. We've taken that little piece of clay and we've wiggled it like that which is effectively stretched it you see it's opened out the clay like this clay clay the structure of clay is that the it composed of long elongated particles that slide over one another so we've expanded it um, by doing by doing that okay okay folks there it is thanks for joining us I hope that's been helpful to you have a go at doing um, have a go at doing that give me your feedback in the comments below um, join us for a workshop I have a workshop here this weekend and um, ongoing another one later in May at the end of May I think and then June, July, August October, not in September so if you'd like to come join us for a weekend um, Saturday, Sunday 10 until 4.30 each day and we will do some practicing together how about that? <laughs> okay, that's it um, yeah, visit my website simonleachpottery.com where you can get some information about that. If you want more information about the workshop, just write to me, uh, simonleachpottery at gmail.com. Just write to me if you want more information and I'll, I'll tell you in more detail. It's basically about doing the kind of things that I'm doing here on my videos, you know. Um, it'll be centered around learning how to pull clay and working to a gauge. That will be basically uh, what, what what it's about. Really, really important stuff to know how to do and that will really help you on your journey in clay. Hey, keep practicing. I'll see you around. I'll see you around indeed. Bye-bye.